Hello and welcome again to another video of basic fishing. As you can see, I am out in a completely new spot today. <laughs> this is no doubt the most exciting, excited I've been fishing because this is a new spot for me and um, it took me three hours to get here but I hope it's going to be worth it because, you know, I'm going to be fishing with Lee today. I'm just waiting for him and I'll be doing some surf casting as you can see and really hope that some, fi some fish will turn up in the morning so let's hope for some action to pick up as the um, sun rises still cold so it's a bit of a waiting game but man that sunrise is amazing yeah we have Lee he's getting ready with his um what's that bait around here uh this is the world's nastiest poacher that's been <laughs> sitting in my car for a couple of days what you gotta be kidding me let's get it. show me the big oh yeah Black nice magic they're gonna grab her. Oh, ah, yep. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't a good start for me because I just got snapped off on my second cast, so that was really frustrating. But um, Lee also forgot his rod holder today. <laughs> One of those days. One of those days, I suppose. One, two, three. It is now um, almost 10 and uh, we've been struggling for a couple of hours. The struggle was real. So in the meantime of waiting, I thought of doing a bait presentation for everybody on how to use this dingle dangle. Now I'm pretty sure many people would have seen me use um, this string version here. And where's the other one? And here's another one here. So, here are three different dingle dangles I'd like to show you. One is a commercial made one, so this has a foam on it and this has a wire body. Two is my first dingle dangle prototype I've ever made. This is nothing but a synthetic braid with a bit of um, heat shrink covering a, a small split ring at the end. And here is just the, um, uh, the dingle dangle hooked on, at attached to the hook. Let's see how to present this as bait. So here, I've got a really nasty um, salted mullet gut. And what I do is I just cover it up. And, oh my God, this is actually really nasty. It's really soft, that's the problem I'm having. But simply what I do is I just cover this up and I am trying to leave the solid end right at the top so that when my hook goes through it will be all nicely um, hooked around and now what I simply do is I just tie it on with my bait elastic or bait cotton or whatever you prefer now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to leave it so that I can see the um, See the heat shrink and I just tie it around like this and because I soldered this it's actually quite tough now but man that stinks like hell what I also do is I tie it around the top as well just so that it doesn't slip at the bottom All right, the bait is all done here. That is nasty, but hopefully with the scent and the attraction, this should be enough to attract the snapper to the area. Lee, what do you think of this dingle dangle? <laughs> nasty, huh? Yeah, I agree. Finally! Oh, good fish on the Bowser! <laughs> oh yeah oh wow look at that Trip wait what
I might get this on the phone actually. On the balsa rod. It's just here. Oh! Whoa! Target species! Yes. Wow! Now that's what you call winging it because Lee just casted it out really close, right? That's a nice granite. It is well perfectly hooked too. What was that on? Mullet. <laughs> wow, look at wow. Whoa jeez. Nice fish. Good fish by Lee. Wow, look at those wings. He's gorgeous. Yeah, just be careful, like there's a spike here and a spike there. Don't want, don't want to get stung. And also, don't keep any undersized fish. Legal size for this is 25 centimeters. And this is well over legal. Yeah. Nice man, first fish of the day. On the... Wait. <laughs> Bowser rod. Cool fact, that logo there is a Capricale. Um, a European species of um, grouse that is extremely famous for being territorial and aggressive and attacks you on sight. <laughs> uh, look at that, there's a spine right there as you can see. Oh wait, I didn't get that. So there's a one spike you should avoid and another one just right there. If you get pricked, it's gonna be nasty. So here's my um, Malaga Dingle Dangle and using this is quite simple like you can see that hook at the end there right so simply what you do I've got a pulley rig here so you just attach this here and now all you do is clip it onto the hook like that and when that lands that will um, hit the water and that will just release it like that and this way, not only you get a long cast, but this will ensure that your bait survives the, um, the impact from the cast. So one, two. Oh my god. That seagull. Ugh. These cowboys, I think they were um, left behind. So. I'm gonna release this small one here to live for another day. Oh my god. If I can catch him. Alright. I'm gonna get a video of me releasing the small fish. Back home. Off he goes. And the other one, I'll probably take him with me. Maybe use him for bait later. After all, we only caught that one gurner, so in case all goes south, at least I have a fish to take home. Look at that. <laughs> oh gosh. I officially caught a fish here. <laughs> uh, actually, this car is a bit small too. Maybe I'll let him go. <clears throat> I'll let him go. Yeah, like a shirt, like the Ocean Nation shirt. All right, I'll just put him out in the deep water. And yeah, let him go. Oh, oh, jeez, jeez, oh, no, 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 oh, dear. <laughs> so much for smooth release. Yep. <laughs> there he goes. Still got it? Nice. What do you think of this? Probably a small Looks all right. It's funny because Lee was just complaining about how he had a fight. Oh, yeah. Is that a small snapper or another gurnet? A, a gurnet would be nice. So the, 
does on the Gurnet Grabber too, right? So it would be nice if you get a Gurnet on the Gurnet Grabber. I've only caught a Gurnet Grabber, I only caught a Gurnet on the Gurnet Grabber on the boat. Oh, oh wait, if it's a shark, we might be able to tag it. There it is. It's just here. Yeah. yeah. It is. What is it? Oh, it looks sharky. It's quite dark, so I can't see anything. Oh, it's a gurnet. What? Wait, wait, hold, oh, wow. On the gurnet grabber, too. Wow. <sighs> Bruh, you're slaying it today. Wow, good. Good man, the hard to grip. Yeah. Well, one tip I like to mention to everybody is that when you're handling gurnet, um, do not hold them by the head. In, in fact, hold them by either the gills. We're well, holding, well, Lee's keeping this fish, so I'm gonna hold in the gills for him. Oh my god. Or you can loop grip him. Just like that. Yeah, I know. So that's a good catch by Lee. Lee, say hurrah. <laughs> or I'll just say he just winged it. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not true. He used a black magic uh, gurnet grabber. So if you want to catch gurnet, use the gurnet grabber. I'm going to take this fish back for Lee. Third fish for today. It looks like another gurnet. It's quite a slight bite. I've hardly had any luck today, but uh. Oh, wait. Still there? Oh, yep, yep, you're on. Looks like another girder, right? Oh. I was really hope I might have to change one of my rigs from the uh, poly rig to a running rig because the dingle dangle is not working here today so unfortunately I have to switch it up oh okay where is it just here right yep that's that's good that's what we like to hear Oh, yep, it's just right here. Hey, who's complaining, eh? Oh, nice, nice. Oh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, man, you're slaying it. I mean, let's. Yeah, um, it looks like, it. I mean, look at that, that black magic, um, flasher rig. I mean, I'm using my own homemade, uh, rigs at the moment on a rig that I normally use to target gurnet, but I kind of wish I had the gurnet grabber now. So, <laughs> all right, so I switched to a running rig. The, uh, Dingle Dangle has not been delivering me for me at all today. So I'm going to be using this setup now. Cast right on that foam line. You're on again? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, right here? There it is. Oh, they're going it again. It's not that big, but. Look at that. Uh, kawaii. Yeah. yeah, he took on a kawaii. Look at that wing. I suppose it's what you could wing it. Man, look at that gurnet. Caught on the gurnet grabber. <laughs> the gurnet grabber lives up to his name once again.
Good work, baby. Yes. Finally. Oh, ah. Cry out loud, it's stuck. Do I have a fish? Ah. Oh. Bloody hell, false alarm! <sighs> oh no! I hope this is a fish! <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? I finally got one fish, but this is not the target species I'm after. I am so not, oh, I am not in the mood right now. Oh, but still, small fish. Oh. Yes! Good take! It looks like a snapper. Why did I crack it in like hell? Yeah, it was pulling line. Yep, I'm over the lip now. I probably want to get a photo of that. But well, look at that, he got a, I got on that. Uh, I don't know what size that hook is, but I don't care. I'm bloody happy, that's for sure. I'll probably get another bait out. And I'll get a photo of Lee. Cheers, man. Oh my God. I don't know how painful that was, but man, that was a fa- 
Yeah. So I'm gonna put. Yeah. Oh wow. Good. Good snapper off the west coast today. Oh, I mean this was my target species, too, as well as the gurners. But yeah, persistence. Lovely like West Coast snapper. I worked so bloody hard just to get him today. <laughs> but hey, this one fish made the three hour drive worth it. I hope to get more though before I go. But man, check that fish out. Fish on. comes the ledge That's a beast. I mean, look at that. Oh, I'd like to get a photo of him. You all good? <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, look at that. Good gurnard. Good gurnard right there. So happy. This is my second fish of the day. This and the snapper were my target species, so. He was caught on the KLT hook with the pink shock leader and now Yumi using squid squid as um, like a flasher. So that's a good catch for me. Man. Oh yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Check that out still. That's a mean photo. I mean, uh, fish I mean. I'd like to try. Well, I hope everyone has enjoyed watching this video. I certainly did struggle today, but at least I was able to pull out some tricks out of here. This is my first time fishing here, and I have to say, <laughs> it's not easy. I mean, it's difficult, to say the least. But, um, you know, we were able to get our target species today. Lee certainly caught the most gurnard and I was able to catch the only snapper here so um, that was I still regard that as a success oh uh, man this the sandbar is an issue so this is the one thing that I'm not gonna miss yeah as I said um thank you for watching everybody and if you like this video please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe anyway thank you for watching everybody and see you guys next time